Magic City tonight, a falling tree at the Birmingham Zoo injures three people, one of them a child. And today, a horticulture team was on site to eliminate more threats to visitors there. CBS 42 News reporter James McConathan at the Birmingham Zoo tonight, speaking with experts about what happens next. A zoo spokesperson told me, of course, safety is a top priority here, and they want to be certain they remove any trees that present a potential problem. As children filed into the zoo on field trips for an Earth Day themed education, a worker in a bucket truck nearby was removing a tree from the property piece by piece. This morning, we've had a team out surveying all of the trees on grounds. They're going to go and tag any trees that could be a potential fall risk. After a tree fell on three visitors yesterday near the train, zoo management is on the lookout for any other potential problems. We're just trying to be very proactive about this and if there's any chance it might be one that could come down, we're going to go ahead and take it down. Gil Gray with Gray's Tree Service says they're seeing a lot of trees right now across the southeast that aren't as healthy as they might look. It's the drought that we had two years ago. Uh, the trees will be seeing them die for the next three to five years. Gray said if you don't know what you're looking for, you wouldn't even know there was a problem. They're still getting enough water and nutrients to stay green and flourish. Uh, the, whole, the whole time the root system's rotting off. Zoo management says they want to be sure to prevent any potential incidents like what happened yesterday. Now I'm told sections of the park may have to be closed as problem trees are identified and removed, but the zoo will remain open to the public. In Mountain Brook, James McConathan, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.